Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and this is Little Holes by Roddy McGee and Noel Coulter. Before I do this review, please check out, or after I do the review, onlinemagic.co. That is my online membership site, 900 plus videos, live sessions every week, even from the cruise ship I was just on. First one in 20 years. That was weird, uh, but good. And I may make another video on that because there were challenges, but they were overcome. Uh, so have a look at onlinemagic.co, please. It is very good. Read the Trustpilot reviews. Don't take my word for it. And like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. And Instagram at Steve Faulkner. Lil Holes. So this is the, oh, I was going to guess then. I would say they've had a few things out, but for me, it's the, Second big, big, big release from Trick Trick Boom, Noel and Roddy's um, production company. Doesn't mean the other stuff wasn't brilliant, but Mac, uh, MacBook Pro, Minibook Pro, and this, I think, have been the two that I've gone, that's just brilliant. And, and we've got a couple of things coming up that I'm very excited about. Little Door was Roddy's release before Trick Trick Boom that this has the most in common with, I think. This idea of taking a deck of cards, we have the card box, either maybe after performing card tricks, that is used for something else to demonstrate something that almost, you know, well, it does look like animation because you're drawing stuff, um, creates an effect that is quirky and weird and odd, and then has this kicker finish, which is a really interesting kind of rhythm and one that you have to be aware of when you perform the trick, which we'll talk about in a bit. So as magicians, we look at that and we go, oh, that's really good, it's really different, it's, it's a brilliant trick, it's a fooling trick. You know, it, for, to everybody, for lay people and magicians, I did show this to a, a very uh, uh, experienced magician in Lisbon to make myself sound all, uh, all traveling and jet setty. And I did it quite badly and he was like, I'm fooled. I don't know how it's done. So that's, there's a lot of boxes ticked here. I have now performed this for lay people and it now gets a really, really good response. It's so unusual. And the, the little sort of kinks that I had to iron out are mentioned by Roddy and Noel in the tutorial. So first of all, the, the stuff you wanna know. Is it easy? In a way, yes, but this is a thing. Is it resettable and all that stuff? Yeah, really easy. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to do something, but don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna, you don't wanna reset it with people staring at you, but there are ways of doing that, but it doesn't matter. You know, do a different trick on the next table, make an excuse, go and take a break. If it's nice to go and have a breather, enjoy yourself. So don't worry about that. When you get this, the question is, is it gonna last? There are a couple of things in here where you go, oh, if I do that a lot, it's going to fall apart. There were part, there's part of me that thought that. I practiced this a lot when I was, I was in a ship for two weeks. I practiced this solidly and it's still totally fine. So if you look after it, like it says in the tutorial, all good. And the, they talk you how to put, if you want to, how to put a new bit of cellophane on the card case. So you need a cellophane on the card case. That's something I didn't know. and. That's brilliant as well. So all good, it's, it's good. The thing I want to talk about is the, the process. And this happened with Little Door as well. And I think it's, it's an important one. I saw the trick, loved it, learned it, was nervous about taking it out because even though it's easy, it felt as if it was going to be difficult or, or there wasn't much room for error. And I know it sounds obvious, I practiced it and, it and I got better, but with some tricks, it doesn't feel like you're gonna get better. It's not as solid. You kind of think, I'm kind of doing this, but how am I gonna improve it? And then all of a sudden, you just feel it. There's, a, there's, a, there's an intuitive thing to this about how much to do a certain thing you have to do. And when you first do it, you'll be going, oh, they're gonna see, and, and there are things in the tutorial that avoid the, the things you may be worried about. When you perform it, it's, you realize that all of that's in your head, you can see more than they can see, and the confidence is what you're hit with after a while of going, actually, I 
didn't do that that well, which I'd never do the first few times. But they still didn't see that, and then that gives you the confidence to go on. And it is one of the a light little door as well. Uh, the other very important part of this is the rhythm. Now, Roddy says in the instruction, I'm so glad he, he did, because, or, or no, so they both say it, but it's we go, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There is so much to process for a spectator. There's so many bits to this. The, 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 you know, it's odd that you're drawing the, the spots on the card, the dots. Then you move them. That's one effect. And then they're kind of processing that. And then you take the cards out and show them that, them that they are holes. They're not just dots that you're moving about. So there's loads, you know, they've seen you draw on it. They've seen you move the thing. And as he said, at this point, they're going to go, that's amazing. And then they might go, oh, maybe... And this kicker finish just completely kind of closes that door on all the things they were thinking. Brilliant, brilliant. But if you rush through this a bit or don't give certain areas the right pauses, which I did the first few times, I wasn't really getting those responses. I did talk to people afterwards and they were amazed, but you could tell that I'd kind of moved on and shown the holes in the box before they could really process as he said for want of a better word and I've said it so many times what was happening when I really slowed it down and really slowed it down then it got the really good responses and that is the same with little door little door is so good but they've got to see all these bits and then they start thinking back and they just have absolutely nowhere to go now sometimes we don't want that in a magic trick sometimes we don't want the effect to be too late because you know we might be out of the room by that point you're not in this respect but I think with this, it does, it's, it's, as Noel said, it's a good middler. Yeah, I think you could open with it, and I think you could close with it, but I, I don't mean to show a, a close-up thing. It worked great with cameras in a show as well, actually, I think, as with Little Door and Mini Book Pro. But I think the middle of it really makes sense because you're going to be doing something afterwards. You can sit with them while they're doing this. They've got the thing to look at everything is, is examinable and there's a moment where just before you make it in ex i can't talk examinable that you're gonna think they're gonna catch me on that that's the bit i spent ages trying to find the best way of doing it when it came to it there's just no heat at all you've got all the time in the world and actually they're not interested in the beat you think they're going to be interested in because obviously they're looking at the the box with the holes in still that's what they've got and then all the time in the world to put the cards on the table so to speak and there you go i know that's a bit waffly because it always is but that's the important bit and it's a bit some people don't talk about i think a lot of people get this do it look at it themselves doing it and go great show it to someone maybe get this kind of uh and think that it's not good that's only the timing and actually they're completely blown away but it's giving them permission to and time to react respond and then go, oh my God, it, it's great. And I love tricks like that. But again, not for every single situation, not for every part in a set. It's really good. Don't, the, the only time I've messed it up was total user error. The easiest bit, all right? He, he shows you how to make a Sharpie, a, a non-Sharpie look like a Sharpie, which is really, really important, I think, for me. And I just got the wrong pen out. And I'd marked it very clearly, but... For some reason, I looked down, and I, I don't know whether I looked down and saw that one and just grabbed the net, whatever. But got right to the bit where you moved the holes, and then the holes didn't move. <laughs> they stayed exactly where they were, and new holes appeared. And I just, you know, butchered my way through it, got to the end, created a trick that made no sense, because all of a sudden, there's not four holes, there's four, five, six, seven holes. Uh, and then there's four holes in the box. But do you know what? When I finished it, they went, how would you get the holes in the box? So not what you want, but it was something. And again, if you're doing it as a middler, you can uh, very quickly move on. But nobody died. We were all all right. So I love this. The work isn't really in the physical practice. Yes, there's that. It's in just the repetition and the feel. And when I mean physical practice, I mean just not in learning anything really difficult. And in the confidence that you need to sit back and just let it happen and know that you've got all the time in the world because what you know is going on, they just never will. Really, really lovely. Little holes, really excited um, to see what Nolan Roddy come up with next. 
and uh, do use the links below if you want to purchase it any questions do put them below i am back i'm not traveling that much now so i will be getting to comments and thank you so much for them they are very much appreciated um, even if sometimes i don't don't get to answer them thanks very much have a great one take care see you later